You know, obviously, Final Four, first time in three years now. Yeah. I guess the senior class is freshman yeah. year. Do you feel like this group appreciates this opportunity even more because they got it as a freshman and didn't taste it again until now? I think so. You know, I know, uh, you know, we were all disappointed last year at this time because we went to Army in the quarterfinal and in three games, mm-hmm. you know, we lost late uh, to a really good Army team, but we felt like we were good enough to get to Rochester. And, uh, you know, now it wasn't easy, but uh, our guys all came in with some great focus and they worked really hard all, all year, Victor. And, you know, we got a couple of bounces. We, we made some of our own bounces to be sure. Um, but I really do. It's a big, big senior class who have been there a little bit before. And I think they know what it's like. And I think... Uh, you know, one of their goals was to get back to Rochester, and here we are. you got to feel like that this group won't take this opportunity for granted because not just is it a last one, but it's one that they figured would happen a lot sooner than this year. Uh, no question. I, I can tell you I've talked to a couple of seniors individually, and the thing that always comes out is, you know, I know this is my last year of college hockey. So, uh, you know, it's, it's really, really important. I think sometimes when you're a younger guy, I think you think, well, you know, get three more years or, or two more years and we'll get there or we'll win it then or whatever. And I think, again, uh, uh, not that I took a, a poll or anything, but I can tell you, you know, the, the two or three seniors I've, uh, I, I've talked with, they've all said the same exact thing, that you know, we, we know this is our last chance. So uh, uh, that's powerful stuff. And it seems like, obviously, the conference tournament has unfolded as we fully expected, a one, a two, a five, and a seven. You know, just your thoughts on the final four teams that are there, and do you look at it as one, two, five, and seven? I really don't. Um, I, I just think that the one for us is a really neat thing, only because you know I can control some of the lot, you know, the line matchups. You know, having the last change, yeah. which which is big from a, you know, yeah. I don't do much back there, but uh, at least we're able to get the guys on the ice against certain certain other guys from other team. But you know, really, the the four teams that are there, Victor, are, are really really good teams, and uh, you know, anybody could win this. You know, and whoever does win it, uh, I think will be a great representative in the NCAA. Double A tournament, and obviously a lot of things have to come into play for for your team to win. It's just like any team. But is there one thing that stands, one facet of the game that stands up above all else? Well, I think again, I think it's the same same stuff. I mean, it's just execution. Mm-hmm. You know, our guys know what to do. Um, you know, and we just have to execute better than Robert Morris does. And I think if we do that, I know if we do that, we'll be playing on Saturday night for a championship, and uh, uh, then we're going to have to execute better than either Canisius or, or, or Air Force. And I I believe that we're more than capable of doing that. But I think the key for us is just executing all the things that we've been doing all year, whether it be in the offensive zone or the defensive zone or on the power player on the penalty kill and you know I think if we execute at a high level uh, like we have uh, you know uh, a lot in the second half I think we're going to be in, in a great spot. That big class of seniors a lot of talented seniors I think kind of coming in the next year we I think we more just expected to get back rather than thinking we had to work for it and I think this year has kind of really shown how especially after Christmas how we've we've had to work for it and we're not taking it for granted this year and coming so close freshman year getting all the way to the finals and and then kind of some injury-ridden years, sophomore, junior, with a bunch of guys. I think this year, finally fully healthy and not and kind of on a roll right now. I think that's huge going into the tournament. I think this team's played in maybe one, about a dozen one-goal games this year. And you know in the conference, one-goal games are normal. The fact that you've had so much success in those tight games, what will that mean to this team when you know you're probably going to be in tight games come this weekend? I mean, once again, just another game to us. I mean, we practice our five-on-six Every week, we know what we have to do. We know it's going to take guys selling out like we did on Saturday night, and it's just it's no different to us. We're taking it game by game, and we're going to play the same way, play hard, play with that swagger. It's a senior class. You probably thought after the experience they had freshman year, we're going to get back there mm-hmm. more often. This is number. Two, this is you know, opportunity number two and last for the senior class. How important is that in the sense that you won't take that for granted? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I think. Um, you know, just coming in your first year, we made it all the way to the last game there, and we were all definitely bummed out, but I think we were pretty high in spirits knowing, like, hey, we're going to be back here, let's let's keep on it, we'll get it again. But, yeah, like you said, we haven't been there for a couple of years. Um, you know, we're excited to get back. We want to we end our college careers on a good note, and I think we're going in there really excited.